are here at the International Airport Summit in London, and I'm joined here by Shivarama MS, who is Vice President and Head of, um, we're going to have to say this um, in full, EHS, which is Environment, Health and Safety and Sustainability at Manahar International Airport in Goa. So Shivaraman, thank you so much for joining me thank today. Thank you very much, Wally. My first question for you is, can you tell us a little bit about your very long job title and, and what it means for the airport? Uh, this is basically, in fact, I'm heading Environment, Health and Safety and Sustainability aspects of uh, you know, Manahar International Airport, Goa, India. And this is being operated and uh, maintained by uh, GMR Group, GMR, uh, Goa International Airport Limited. Uh, currently, in fact, uh, my, 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 my main role is basically to prevention of uh, prevention of incidents and protection of environment uh, and, pre and prevention of occupational diseases also, and also to implement uh, the best uh, industry practices and also to implement sustainability initiatives uh, towards a global, uh, you know, global best green and clean and sustainable airport. This is my uh, my role in the company and right now as of now. And uh, basically, in fact, uh, you know, uh, environment sustainability is basically the core values of our organization. Sustainability is basically is one of the five pillars and uh, foundations around which our entire airport has been designed. And also, the uh, airport is currently also being you know operated by and around the same uh, concept itself. So, uh, ours is basically a tabletop uh, plateau airport, surrounded by valley and uh, forest. Uh, surrounded by uh, by the side of our entire uh, airport boundary, and that's what we, in fact the challenge is for us. In fact, we need to maintain uh, and also protect the environment, including flora and fauna around that area. That's what is the challenge for us. That's been challenge for me also. And uh, of course, we have been already we already incorporated everything into our system itself by design. So that's taking care of the entire aspects by design itself. And of course, so uh, you mentioned that it's quite a new airport. Um, so has it recently been redeveloped or? How old is the airport? So right now, it's uh, it's right now we are currently into 11th uh, month into operations right now. Of course, we do have we have taken a lot of inputs and learning from our earlier airports also, whereas from Delhi Airport, Hyderabad Airport, and other international airports which is being operated by our group. So we have taken almost the good practices from there itself, and we are designing it. We are putting everything in place right now itself. So right now we are ready ready made stuff for us for the passengers to experience our airport. That's fantastic. You've taken all the good bits yeah, of we're, all we're the airports. Taking, we're taking all the best inputs from all the all the yeah. airports and put it in one place by design itself. Fantastic. Um, so what is your airport doing to reduce its environmental impact? You mentioned a few points there, but um, can you expand a bit? Yeah. So in fact, uh, to tell you to a couple of things, in fact, uh, you know, uh, it could be uh, carbon neutrality, water positivity, uh, waste management and biodiversity management energy efficiency and conservation. To list a couple of things, in fact, we do have a 5 megawatt on-site solar power plant inside the premises itself to take care of our, at least about our uh, current energy demands. And right now, we're also in the process of developing, augmenting the entire solar power generation also. We want to, uh, we want to make it up to 100% renewable energy sources very shortly. And that's one thing. And our terminal building has been actually, uh, has been certified with the uh, platinum rating, green, green building concept by Indian Green, green Building Council. So, which is basically to, uh, for income, income Capacing all design aspects, all sustainable aspects from design, uh, construction, as well as also operation FS itself. And uh, we have been practicing right now the zero uh, carbon neutrality program. We want to achieve it by 2028. Uh, and uh, of course, we are also right now for the carbon sink uh, through planting about 50,000 trees within the premises itself. Uh, and we have, we do have a lot of energy programs also to reduce energy consumption over there. And plenty of things, in fact. Uh, you, you know, to recently you mentioned it, we, we have right now practicing high cow, uh, uh, you know, uh, high cow based noise management also, basically to by promoting uh, uh, promoting the continuous descent approach and in collaboration with the airlines also. That is going to reduce a lot of noise at the you know funnel zone areas. And um, where do you see the future of um, green energy going? We need to achieve hundred uh, percent. We need to become a. Uh, we need to achieve zero carbon program by default. In any case, the early is the better for us, and we need to adapt to this renewable energy sources very shortly. And we have a program for that, and we want to achieve it very shortly. Fantastic. Um, now, what is the health aspect of your role, and why is it important for airports? You know, given given our recent past. Yeah, uh, in fact, uh, I do. I do head the health department over there because, in fact, uh, currently, in fact, our uh, this is very uh, you know uh, very pragmatic and very uh, well thought uh, program for us. Uh, we have been covering uh, all all our stakeholders and workforce also under our annual program, basically uh, occupational surveillance program, which includes uh, the comprehensive medical checkup for all the workforce. 
uh, annual basis currently uh, through a qualified doctors who are there, uh, uh, through a online on-site medical camps at our place itself. This is basically to capture all their, you know, uh, the maybe year-on-year -year basis what could be the, you know, the health effects, health impacts on them. So that we are going to capture it also. We are going to help them out in case of, you know, in case they they, look, they need any kind of help from outside. That's one part of it. The second part of it is that, as I said, in the background, background of this COVID pandemic and all. It's a learning for all our airports also that uh, we need to train our people, workforce, and we need to also uh, safeguard them also from all from illness and other you know diseases also. At least they can take care of this. You know, uh, they can provide a good service to the passengers. That's what is the motto for us. Mm. Absolutely, it's very important to take care of your Absolute, uh, employees. Absolutely, that's true. Mm. And we should. Uh, mm, what I say that, um, you know, uh, we should go behind the complex requirements of this health advisories of the Ministry of Health and Government, uh, uh, government and also WHO. We can, we can think ahead also. We can probably think about uh, considering a, a pandemic uh, crisis management uh, cell with a task force comprising a team from uh, various uh, you know, cross function teams or uh, doctor or paramedics and uh, you know uh, counseling staff. So, and we can also think about uh, creating, uh, you know, the isolation center. Uh, it can be installed and uh, commissioned within 48 hours itself. That, that's possible. So and also see, in fact, this pandemic uh, can, can be you know uh, can be uh, can be through different types of routes. Like maybe it could be contact based. It could be you know air. It could be water. Depending upon that kind of uh, kind of uh, you know uh, infected routes. So you can think about going for a specific uh, methodology or SOPs, what we call, uh, to prevent those things also in place. And obviously, in fact, uh, periodical mock drills and periodical trainings also will certainly help for that to matter. matter. Shagraman, that was my final question. Thank you so much. Thank you, much. Thanks, thank you. I'm really amazed to be part of this exhibition.